Namaste, so tribe. Spiritual healer back to give you guys a message. Hi, my beautiful Aries, my baby bosses. I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for being patient with me. As I took a break yesterday, all right, to heal myself, to take a break because I was, you know, recovering from that uh, cold that I was dealing with. I feel a lot better today. So let's get right into your message, my loves. All right. And I heard that song. I don't know who sings this song, but you guys already know that I don't know who sings every song. But you guys, if you know who sings this song, let me know in the comment section, please. Because I heard one last cry before I leave it all behind. Thinking about mm -hmm. oh, one last cry. Something like that. One last cry. That's, I think that's what the song is called because that's all I kept hearing is one last cry before I leave it all behind. All right. So this could be you or this could be somebody that you're dealing with. But somebody is ready to leave it all behind. Somebody's ready to let go and um, move forward. Somebody is um, coming to terms with their reality. You guys could be coming to terms with your own reality right now. You guys could be... Uh, seeing things taking place from behind the scenes you're like the observer all right you're observing somebody and you're catching somebody slipping or somebody's observing you and they want to catch you slipping all right somebody watches everything you do or you're watching this person because you know they're watching you all right something like that so the observer is here somebody's observing you somebody's watching you somebody's taking notes all right, but they're having a hard time figuring out how you keep on transmuting energies, how you keep on, um, I don't know if you're predicting something that this person has been doing, or you're um, speaking about something that nobody has told you about, but you're channeling these messages and you're putting them out there. And somebody's trying to figure out how do you know this information or how are you getting this information? All right, they're trying to figure out how you use your gifts they're observing you. Put your angels and ancestors trans transmute your energy every day or they transform. It's like you're transforming yourself every day and every time you do something, it's a bit different every time. Or they just can't figure out how you do it effortlessly. Somebody's observing you. Somebody's keeping an eye on you. Just know. And you need to keep an eye on someone or you need to uh, keep an eye on um, your environment and your surroundings and things that suddenly happen or occur. And somebody could be telling on themselves. This person is too ambitious. And they want to get to know you, but they're too ambitious. All right? So this person is doing too much. All right? They could be coming towards you as if they know who you are. As if they know details about your life. As if they know certain things that you never told them. And that's turning you off. It's like this person is trying to, like, predict your future. Or, like, they're trying to, like... Say something about you to see if you agree, because like I said, they're trying to figure you out. So somebody could be telling you something as if they already know, but they don't already know anything about you. They just want to see if you come and tell them something about yourself or if you agree with them. Wow. All right. Rose garden. Roses could be significant. All right. You guys getting roses for yourself, having a rose bush. If you have a rose bush outside your home, this message is for you. Take one of those roses out of your rose bush, put it in, put it in a vase with water, and put it inside your home. Gift it to your ancestors. All right, the rose, the energy of the rose is the highest frequency energy of a flower. All right, so the rose has the highest frequency of love, and it vibrates into the universe, into our um, auric field. All right, so if you're surrounded by roses, or you put roses in your home, fresh roses, it increases the vibration in your home, and it purifies it as well, all right, the higher frequency of love, wow, all right, so listening, you guys are listening, you're paying attention to your ancestors, you're listening to someone, be careful who you're listening to at this time, all right, be careful who you're listening to, if somebody's calling you on the phone, or you're watching someone, or you're listening to somebody, somebody talk to you, or they're talking to you directly, or you're watching them talk on a video, be mindful, all right? Pay attention and read between the lines. 
Because I told you guys before, you got to be careful who you're listening to and who you're conversating with or who you're exchanging energy with right now. You're very sensitive to energy. You're very receptive to people's uh, energy. All right? So if somebody's just cursing the whole time they're talking, they're just cursing, curse words, curse words after curse word after curse word, and this person's talking negative, putting out negative vibrations into your energy, into your auric field, then you can't listen to this person. You need to, you need to detach. You need to transmute that energy. You need to give it up to God in the, in, in, in the name of God. No weapon formed, you shall prosper. That's what you need to say out of your mouth when somebody's just speaking and all they're speaking is a bunch of curse words. And if you guys aren't familiar with curse words, they're actual curses. All right, so be careful who you're listening to and who you're watching because this is what I'm getting. I feel like you guys are like the morning dude, girl, male or female. You're very intuitive and you could be discerning, all right? But you know when somebody has pure intentions. You know when somebody's trying to raise your vibration and you know when somebody's trying to lower your vibration. So be careful who you're watching, observing, and who you're listening to because this is the observer card and the listen to card, all right? So that's a specific message. All right, spirit, thank you so much. Let's go. All right, so whatever I wrote down, I, I had a couple messages I wrote down in my notebook right now. All right, like I said, there's, there could be people watching you, observing you, paying attention to everything you do. But at the end of the day, you're unbothered. You could care less. You need to be unbothered and you don't need to care less. You don't owe these people anything. All right? But there's a King of Cups that's in despair because the King of Cups found out that there is somebody that's coming to make you an offer. Or the King of Cups feels stuck from coming to make you an offer because this King of Cups already knows that you, you know, you, you're, pretty, you're pretty much standing your ground and guarding yourself from anybody that's low vibration or anybody from the past that, that really hurt you, that I'm telling you, they betrayed you, they hurt you, they walked away from you, they chose a karmic over you. If this is, if this is the person you're dealing with, then they already know you're about to get a, a, a romantic offer from somebody else. This person has been trying to stop this from happening because this person could have found out that somebody that's in the public eye or that's well known or that's wealthy or you know this person is just a, a beautiful person they're gonna reach out and they want to connect with you they want to give you an offer and somebody told this person that or this just this person just got a reading and found out all right so the king of cups is in despair could be getting readings to find out what's going on with your life because you completely blocked this person. You isolated yourself from them. But for some reason, this person knows that you're about to get connected with your divine counterpart. And something has been kept a secret or the truth is coming out to light. That this water sign never get, never even got over you. That this water sign was always keeping tabs of you. Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. But they really want to secretly come towards you. And there's a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. That somehow... They have a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius keeping tabs on you, giving them information about you, telling this person when the right, when is the right time to come towards you. Wow, pay attention to that energy, all right? Because if your ancestors are, have been blocking this person from your energy, it's because this person didn't have good intentions to begin with. It's because every time this person gets into the energy in your energy, all right, they always seem to take you for granted and take advantage of your kindness because this person already knows that you're a giver. Wow. There it goes. Scorpio energy. You put an end to this situation. You can have Scorpio in your chart. You guys could be dealing with a water sign, though, male or female. Yeah. But somebody's in despair because they lost their job. They lost their position. Or everybody knows that this person was out to get you because you were seen as the star. And this person was just... Uh, this person was... Uh, you know what? This person was like follow the leader type of energy. Somebody was like, follow the leader energy. So this person um, followed a group of people that were going against you or they were following somebody else. They were supporting somebody else, all right, that does the same job as you or that works in the same workplace as you. They were literally following this person or they were friends with this person. So as soon as you stepped on the scene, they teamed up with this person to come against you, work against you, lie on you, put you down, make it seem like you didn't know what you were doing or talking about. Mm. But the same person that wanted to work against you that was working with this other person that's been watching everything you do, all right, trying to hinder you, trying to block you, trying to make it seem like you're not who you say you are or you can't do this job right. 
There you go. That person's uh, uh, in the star energy in the reverse, Aquarius energy. All right, that's the same person that's watching you. All right, and they're also taking like advice from you somehow, or they're actually watching how you work, and they're actually learning from you, but this person doesn't want you to know that. They don't want you to know that you're inspiring them, that they're learning from you, because they're too busy trying to knock you down off your pedestal. Wow, that's crazy. Keep in mind that you don't owe them anything. Put yourself first, Aries. All right? Somebody could never admit what they put you through. All right? That's why I heard that song, One Last Cry, before you leave it all behind. All right? So somebody's crying or they're emotional because this person knows that the only way they're going to get into your energy or the only way you're going to speak to them is if they tell you everything and they can actually admit what they did to hinder you and to block you or to betray you. Wow. Someone you held close to your heart has been... Wow. Now, somebody that you hold cl close to your heart, and this could be an immediate family member, daughter, son, nephew, niece, mother, father, sister, whoever, best friend, somebody that you hold close to your heart is being possessed to put you in harm's way, so be careful. Yeah. They're being possessed to put you in a, in a, in a compromising situation, all right, or to orchestrate something to go down. What, when you when you show up, this person calls somebody and somebody shows up, this person don't like you, this argument breaks out and you're like, this was staged. Like something was staged or something's, they're trying to stage something, but they're using somebody that you hold close to your heart. So get your heart off your sleeve. And pay attention to that intuition because your spidey senses are very, like, they're, like, it's like your spidey senses are going off when this person comes around. Even though you know you love this person or you, you, you know, you hold this person close to your heart and you had a long past history with this person, be careful. This, this person is not the same person that you used to know. So pick up on the differences in this person than the person that you used to know. This person is shape-shifted into something else. To come and put you in harm's way. All right, my loves? So be careful. I heard Stevie or Steven. I heard somebody saving the best for last. Saving the best for last. So this person knew you were the best in their life. This person knew you was the real deal. But they still chose to work with other people or deal with other people that they already knew were just like an imitation of you. They were like your imitation of you. But they wasn't you. This person knew you was the best, but they tried to save you for last. And they expect you to... Uh, accept that type of energy when they come towards you after they did all their what well, whatever they wanted to do after they slept around after they had their fun after they uh mocked you laughed at you worked against you they really think that they're gonna save the best for last all right you're not you're i i, I know you're not looking back at this person because um this person is a per, the type of person that they can do you dirty and then they can see you later on, like a few months down the line and, and they can act like nothing even happened. They're going to pretend like they never did anything wrong. Like, hey, I, like, like you forgot what they did. This is the type of person. This is a real uh, weirdo. Like, this is a real weirdo. This person really is. This person has different multiple personality disorder. Wow. Somebody's just too excited when you walk in the room. Somebody gets too excited every time they see you. That's a sign that this person is not who they say they are. All right? Seven chakra, Archangel Uriel. Protect your crown chakra at this time. Somebody could be 41. 41 is significant. All right? But this person has a dark energy attached to them, and they wear different, many different false masks, and they could switch up their personality when different people come around. Somebody could be 42, but you are the privileged lady or the privileged man. And there's this woman that just won't let go of your energy. There's this karmic that just won't stop trying to tap into your energy. There's this karmic that's uh, in despair because she keeps trying to slow you down, but your money keeps on increasing or you keep on getting back up. You're opening the door to value and something suddenly comes through for you. Yin yang, Pisces energy. What goes up must come down. The number 22, you could be seeing the number 222. 
the, the number 28 could be significant. Somebody's birthday could be on the 22nd or the 28th. All right, but what I'm getting is that victory is yours. Success and victory is yours. And this is what they've been trying to stop and block. Like I said before, so since they can't get into your energy, since you're completely unbothered, these people are getting desperate enough um, to literally mind control someone or try to mind control you to stop doing what you're doing. To stop doing something a certain way or to quit or to walk away from something. Wow. If you're having a clear, vivid dream about something, you're having premonitions, your, your spiritual gifts are increasing. Success is yours. It is your birthright. All right. So somebody's going to reach out to you about some sort of project that they're working on. And they need your help on this project or they want you to, um, like, join them, like, work with them with this project. But be careful if this project isn't a trap to um, delay you from, action, from your actual purpose. If this is a project that you weren't expecting to come up and this is not your purpose and this is not something that you enjoy doing, then if I was you, I wouldn't go that route. I wouldn't take on that project if it's not something that you love to do. All right, because it won't, it will lower your vibration and it will block you from actual purpose and what you're actually supposed to be doing. Success is yours. Yeah, somebody's about to spill the beans to you. That's what I heard. They're going to spill the beans or something significant about beans. Jackie. I also heard Jack and the Beanstalk. I don't know what that has anything to do with this reading. But Jack and the Beanstalk, like he planted these seeds and then they grew like all the way up to the giants in the sky. The Beanstalk grew so big, but then there was trouble because the giants were coming down to take to, to like kill all the people or eat the people. All right, something about giants, like giants are real or like in the spirit realm, you're you're like a giant compared to these people in the spirit realm. Success is yours. All right, somebody's name could be Jack. Communication is coming. Jacqueline, I'm coming with gifts. Somebody's coming to bring you a gift. They're coming to tell you the truth. They're coming to, to tell you everything you need to know. This person is going to confess something to you, and they want to bring you a gift. They want to repair a connection. All right? Mm. Somebody has a baby girl. Success is yours. Yep, because you guys are healing. You're busy healing. Somebody knows and saw everything. Somebody tried to do something at nighttime around your property or home. Somebody saw them or they got caught on someone's camera. Somebody could be getting arrested for uh, stalking you, heavily stalking you, gang stalking you. All right. Some, if you have a uh, restraining order on somebody and this person is getting caught around your property, they're going to jail. Shifting to the fourth and fifth dimension, you might need to get a restraining order on somebody because they're coming towards to your home or they're going to come approach you. Uh, because they're going to be aggressive because you really blocked them and you want nothing to do with them and you're unbothered. Wow. This person is just, just disrespectful. That's what I heard. Somebody's very disrespectful. This is going to be life-changing. Self-love is making you more attractive. Yeah, somebody did pay for spell work, but it backfired on them. It was a setup. Like I said, somebody's trying to orchestrate some sort of setup. Be careful. Because you're on the right path and you had a spiritual awakening. Yep, somebody here, you need to get a new lawyer because your lawyer's not working on your case, so your lawyer's screwing you over. There's a lawyer that got paid off, so you need a new lawyer. You need to look outside your area for this lawyer. Yep, because these people were in your community or this justice system, the Hierophant, the judicial system, they are bullying you or they've been trying to bully you, making you feel like you got no rights to defend yourself, but you do. That's a specific message. A, a father figure was involved. A father figure might be passing away. My condolences for somebody watching. A father figure uh, is very sick and ill. Because they wasn't there to protect you. Because they didn't do the right thing. This father figure just got more sick and ill. Because they were holding on to this resentment or energy of secrets and lies and betrayals. They couldn't do the right thing. Alright, but you're about to get justice in court. Yeah, they've been checking on your background. But you've been a victim all your life of violence. Or you've been a victim of somebody's... um. Wow, you could have been a victim of somebody like physically abusive, abusive person that you you had a, a 
a background where you had a call for help, somebody was abusive. So you have a background, but you were a victim, and somebody keeps trying to search up your background history, but they can't find no dirt on you because you were always a freaking victim to someone else. Wow, loving yourself. Yeah, but you're too busy loving on yourself. But new evidence is going to be found in somebody's court case, and this is going to be major, all right? Your name is being cleared or somebody's name is being cleared or the, the, the real person involved, the real person responsible for somebody's death or touching or harming a child, they're going to jail. Wow. Yeah, because you're innocent. They try to throw you under the bus and make it seem like you did this or they wanted you to be uh, put in jail for it. Mm -mm. Protect your energy. They're just jealous. You're irreplaceable and they know this. All right. They are very obsessed with you guys and somebody has an STD. Somebody could have twins or they're having twins. Yeah, this person, somebody knows you're their soulmate because they're getting readings on you or they got a reading. Thinking about you 24-7, this person's detaching from everybody around them. Somebody finally figured out that their family was the cause of their uh, downfall or was the cause of the breakup or was the cause of them working against you, period. Mm, big windfall of money is here, so that's why this person needs to come towards you. They're going to rush in. Uh, in about 24 to 48 hours, you might hear from this person and they want to tell you everything. They're going to confess something to you because they're very ashamed that they hurt you because they were being coerced by family or these karmics in their life. This, they're, they're not the same person. They could be watching something that you're doing. They got inspired by you. They had an awakening because of you. All right? Yeah, but you're getting good news. You're being rewarded. Successful union re reuniting with a soulmate is here. You guys are connected to the Palladian star seeds. You're receiving justice in court. Somebody's love spells are definitely backfiring. This Aries, Leo, or Sag, they're in despair. But this fire sign could be having an ego death, or this water sign is. But you're spiritually healing, all right, because you're chosen. And now you know where you're, what you're meant to be doing, all right? So now they want to come and mess with your confidence. They want to leave you nasty comments, or they want to project their energy onto you. Whatever they're doing. All right, transmute that energy because you seem to be transmuting energy very quickly. Somebody's spell is in last, like somebody does a love spell on you, it only works for 24 hours and then it wears off. If a karmic's doing love spells on your divine um, counterpart masculine energy, then that shit's wearing off in 24 hours. All right, wow. And the next day, this person is like resentful, more resentful towards this karmic. This person is walking away. Yeah, somebody's just a cheater. Somebody's daughter knows about uh, the person that, all right. So if you were dealing with somebody, your daughter knew this person was a cheater or your daughter, uh, you know, was working with this person behind the scenes, all right? Somebody's daughter could have been trying to sleep with somebody they were with. Wow. Inheritance and trust fund, karmic caught cheating, and that's not for everybody with their daughter. So please don't take that message if it ain't yours. There's a karmic that's getting caught cheating and something going on with somebody's daughter in the mix, right? Wow. What the? Somebody's really dreaming of you. This is your twin flame. They want to try again. Yeah. A brother. You could be causing your brother to have an awakening. Somebody's brother is having a major awakening. All right? Because of something that went on with the daughter here. Wow. You got good karma here. Somebody keeps coming for you, but you're getting messages of love. And this ex is very angry, like I said in the beginning of this video, because this ex knows you're about to get this major offer from somebody. Your aunt is going to jail for somebody. Auntie's going to jail, all right? Auntie, get your bags packed. Auntie, you're going to jail, all right? Because this auntie was doing the most to steal inheritance, to lie on you, to have your ex work against you. This auntie's going to jail, and this auntie could be trying to flee, all right, and, like, leave the country or, like, go into hiding. It's not going to work. All right, they could be tracking this auntie's phone right now because go with the flow. You're the high priestess. Your cousin's under judgment. All your cousins under judgment here. Wow, because you've been exposing a lot of stuff. You've been exposing people for their dark energy and their dark um, secrets that they've been keeping. What they've been doing to you. Mm -mm -mm. They had to nerve to judge you because you were the high priestess. They had the nerve to judge you because you use your gifts. All right, to protect you. All right, and to bring you blessings. They had the nerve to judge you. But the whole time, they were using their gifts to curse you. They were using their gifts to block you. They were using their gifts for wrong. And this is what they're trying to say you're doing. They're just trying to project their darkness onto you. So transmute that energy. Everybody knows the truth now. Mm. I heard Monte Carlo. Somebody got a Monte Carlo. Somebody got a Monte Carlo. Or somebody got a Mustang. 
Somebody could be driving past your house, revving up their engines to get your attention. Or this could be somebody's dirt bike or motorcycle. Somebody could have a Mercedes. Somebody's name could be Mercedes. Marcy. M Matthew. I heard George or Georgie. You're getting victory in court. Somebody lives in Georgia. Confession. Somebody's going to confess that they're gay. They don't want to keep the secret anymore. This person is just like miserable. If they're in a connection with somebody, they need to confess that they're gay so they could be with their uh, other half because this person has been seeing somebody the whole time, but they don't. They're, they were afraid of everybody knowing and not accepting them. This person's really going to express themselves. They're really going to let everybody know that, you know, they're gay. You know, it, it is what it is. But, you know, it's best to uh, be real with yourself. It's best to be who you are. You know, victory in court is here for somebody. An earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, is going to confess that they're gay. They had bisexual secrets. Somebody wants to expose this, but this person is going to confess this to you anyway. Like I said, somebody's going to spill the beans. New business, success is yours. Saving your money. All right. Twins, somebody has twins, it came out again, twin girls. Yeah, for some of you guys, there's a heavy celebrity energy involved, or your real family was, was a celebrity, your real mother or father was a celebrity, and you're finding this out, or there's a celebrity that's involved here, or a celebrity that wants to work with you and is reaching out to you. Yeah, somebody with broken glass, you could be seeing broken glass, glass is breaking around you. If a glass breaks around you, that, that's telling you that somebody's about to have a tower moment and a major spell or curse has been broken. All right? This is your message. If you guys need a personal reading, my email's down below. I love you guys so much. Have a beautiful weekend. Happy Friday. Happy June to you all. My beautiful loves, thank you for your gifts, donations, and for subscribing. Till the next time, namaste.